What's up, the show with you, family? This your boy, Coach Strill, co-head coach of the Neshoba Pee Wees this year. And if you anything like me, I know it's killing you not to be outside right now. And I know your kids are dying to get out there and get back started with football like we all were. Spring training was going great. We were having tremendous numbers. All type of new and old faces. I'm talking about athletes out there everywhere working all age groups. And we don't want to hit no bump in the road from that coronavirus or not. We still want the kids to be active. And if you anything like me as a parent, if I'm doing anything, I'm going to go all the way at it. So I'm trying to teach my kids the same way. If they're going to do anything, don't just do it. Be prepared to do it at the highest level that they possibly can. So in order to do that, we got to stay active. And we can't just be up in the house playing Fortnite and stuff like that. So we're going to start just doing everyday videos, speaking on motivating kids and parents and the community from our coaches, speaking on doing videos of training, little training videos to keep them active. I'm gonna start doing myself. I'm gonna start doing like some of showing y'all some of my basic greatness drills, some of the core and um, upper body, lower body workouts in the inside that you can do in your house at nighttime that we'll start trying to get a sheet out for every week, try to start like a little challenge or something that we're gonna post a video every day of us doing the actual workout. All right, guys, first we're gonna start with today. It would be two cone drills. You don't have cones, that's the first thing people say, like, okay, I don't have cones, what if I ain't got cones at home? What if I ain't got cones at home? Well, guess what, we don't need them. I know everybody got two water bottles at home, or three water bottles, or four water bottles when you work up to the four cone drills, or however many cones you're gonna need to do drills. I'm pretty sure everybody got water bottles, so kids, whenever you see your parents gonna throw your bottles away, Say, oh, no, 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 no. I'm going to refill them and use them to do my drills with. All right? So we're going to set up a two-cone drill to start off. With. You will set your bottles or your cones or whatever you got symbolizing your cones five yards apart. And so. First drill we'll be doing is sprint and sprint back. Simple. Simple stuff. Simple stuff. Simple stuff. When we sprint and sprint back, all we doing, every time, everything that we do with the drill, we would do on this side, we would also do on this side. So that every drill that you have, it'll be two, two in one drill, basically. You always do it on your left side and on your right side. All right? My main thing that I teach my base of the greatness kids is keep your inside foot closest to the cone, keep it up first. Because you want to push out from your foot that's closer to the cone. Next thing. Whenever you're doing these drills, stay as close as you can to the cones. Whether you're going around them, whether you're playing and coming back, stay as close as you can because as you weave out, you're getting off track. That's missed tackles. That's, wrong. That's routes not precise. That's, that's so much going on in football. Everything you do, try to do it as, as athletic as you can and as precise as you can. You got what I'm saying? Because as you do it precise, when you get in a situation like that, it'll be second nature to just pop straight to you. My next thing, with, my first thing was to keep my foot that's closer to the cone and make sure it's up first, and so that's your push off foot, and make sure next that when you go in here, touch with your outside hand when you're gonna come back that way. So anything, any drill you're doing, you touch with your outside hand coming back to finish out this way. I tell you to touch with your outside hand is because I make sure that the cones, they symbolize the ball also. And you never turn your back to the ball. I do all my drills on the base, but it also it also reflects offense as well. You always have your inside foot up that's close to the quarterback. You, it's it, all that, you know what I'm saying? You always gonna step right first if you if you bleeding right. You always gonna step right first if you finna go here and get the ball right. So it all, it all just, correlates into each other. Another thing, like I said, you never turn your back to the ball, so if you go going here, boom, and you touch it with your outside hand, uh, you're going to get back here quicker, rather than you going here, boom, touch it with your inside hand. Now you got to turn your back to the ball and spin around and get back. You about to be done lost somebody. So first drill we're going to do is sprint and sprint through. Sprint out. You'll go to the other side. Whatever you do on your left side, 
you always make sure you do it on your right side. Now you put your inside foot up, foot closer to the cone. You're gonna push off from this from your inside foot. Boom, push out. Uh. Boom. Finish it through. Then sprint, sprint out. Next right. thing we'll do, we'll shuffle, sprint out. When you're shuffling, you're never gonna be past the cone. You want your foot on the cone. You want you to get in a good football stance, feet shoulder width apart, toes pointed straight ahead, sit down in your hips. When you shuffle, you're gonna go here, boom, go. Uh, boom, feet should never cross, feet should never tap. You should always be leading with the outside foot, same with touching with your outside hand. And you're gonna come back and sprint out, back this way, flipping your hips, sprint back out this way. So you're gonna sit down, shoulder width apart, boom, go. Touch, sprint out. So it'll look like this. <laughs> sprint out. As well, as I said, everything you do on the left side, you do on the right side. Sit down. You got your right foot up first now. Sit down, shoulder width apart. Sit in your chair. Everything square. Boom. Step with your outside foot. Boom. Sprint out. Again. Sit down. Oh. Ah, ah. Work, work. Touch with your outside hand. Get out. Next grip. You got me? You're going to sprint. Tap around. Boom. Stay as close as you can. Boom, 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 boom. Get out. Finish on the right, the right side. You're going to start off on your left side. Finish on your right side. Like I said, when you go into the cones, make sure you got your inside foot up. Make sure when you get into the cone, start breaking it down. Boom. Stay as close as you can going around the cone. Sprint out. Stay as far, close as you can to the cone on this side. Make sure when you're going around the cone, I don't want you going. Boom. Way out here, miss tap. Way out here, miss tap. I'm all the way out the camera. You feel what I'm saying? So we're gonna go sprint, tap, tap, sprint out. Inside foot up. Go. Get out. Same thing you do on the left side. Same Last thing you do on the got. right side. Last drill we got on that series. We're gonna go sprint. Sprint, sprint. Inside foot up. Go, boom. Touch with the outside hand. Uh. Touch with the outside hand. Uh. Sprint out. Finish out strong, finish out strong. Again, same thing you do on the left side, same thing you do on the right side. Inside foot up. Go, boom. Outside hand. Outside hand. Run out. Got it? So it'll look like this. Sprint, sprint, sprint. Same thing you do on the left side, same thing you do on the right side. Anything you want daily with this. Like, you can add hops, you can add, add karaoke, you can add backpedal, you can add all that to this. But the thing I'm trying to tell y'all is, you can work yourself. You see how I'm breathing hard? You can work yourself with two water bottles and get better. Have a blessed day.